Jeezo Weasel. Oh, we found a bird. Found a bird. Good morning, everybody. We're here in Portage La Prairie, Manitoba. Didn't make it nearly as far as I wanted to yesterday. I wanted to make it like at least up to Saskatoon, maybe. But we spent six hours trying to get across the border. We were given the wrong information about the customs broker, and we were trying to get the wrong people to clear us to cross the border. It took six hours to figure that out. Once we found the right people and the right broker, it took less than 15 minutes. So really, when I did actually get across the border, when I finally got through, I could have been in Regina already. Because I crossed Emerson, Manitoba, and I'm headed west towards Alberta, Edmonton area. Big waste of time yesterday, but I know we're fighting for some downtime because of that. So hopefully I'll get paid a little bit for having to wait there for something that's not our fault. Diesel, you weren't marking everything in the background there while I was talking again, were you? I hate it when he does that. It's like he plans it, right? He'll, he'll see me sitting here talking to you guys and he'll like aim himself perfectly like in the background right there. Just take a dump. So many clips I've had to delete or like refilm because he's been in the background <laughs> doing his thing. He's funny. He likes messing with you guys. He likes trolling me. Oh well, I troll people all the time, so I guess it's only fair if I get trolled too, right? Diesel, do you do that on purpose? You got something in your eye right there. I, I, I'll get it, I'll get it. There you go. What a handsome weasel. Look at you, Mr. Morning Person. You need to get groomed a little bit, I guess, but still looking pretty good, man. I think you're gonna impress all the ladies all the way to Edmonton, you know? All those dogs that you've passed in other trucks, I know. You see them, they see you. I know what's going on there. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, welcome to the day. Glad you're here. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We make a new video every day as we travel across all of North America. We mostly stay within the Midwest of the United States and Western Canada. But hey, I've been doing this for what? I'm in my seventh year now, and we've been everywhere from Newfoundland, Canada, to Florida, USA, up to Yukon, Canada. The only places that I haven't been in North America are Alaska and technically Mexico. We don't go to Mexico, but uh, I also haven't been to Hawaii. So those are the two states I haven't been to. And the only territory I haven't been to in Canada is Nunavut. So stick around. We like to travel. We make videos while we do it. So come see the continent with us. This behind me here is the prairies of Southern Manitoba. We're pretty much central, right in the middle of the province. Very close to the U.S. border. U.S. border is probably, I don't know, 100 miles that way south, so we're facing south here right now. These are the Canadian prairies. Uh, this is where all the farmers grow the food to feed the nation and a big chunk of the world. We're directly north of North Dakota right now. You go that way, but 100 miles, you'll end up in North Dakota, United States. Flying J Saskatoon. Seems to have cleared up a little bit in the sky. There sure was a lot of smoke in the air all day today. I'm running low on fuel, so that's why we're here. That's why you go to the fuel station. It was actually getting very hazy before. Hopefully this guy won't take too long. Pulling right behind him. Here we go. That's a nice truck, actually. Nice Western Star. I like the back end of that. It's got that headache rack that's painted black to match the truck. The window to the back. I love that. Looks really nice, doesn't it, Diesel? It's a very nice truck. Yeah, here we got one over there. Volvo? You like the Volvos? Volvos aren't my favorite truck. We, we drive a Volvo, but it's definitely not the truck... I would pick if I could order one brand new. Nope, I would still pick the probably Peterbilt, Long Nose, Mid-Rise Sleeper, right? The, how long are those sleepers? 70 inch sleepers? I like those trucks. I really like the Kenworth W9 too, but I sure don't like the new replacement for the Kenworth W9. You guys seen that? Good morning, everybody. We're here just outside of Alberta, between 
cut knife Saskatchewan and Wainwright, Alberta. Somewhere in there. I don't know exactly what town this is, but it's a co-op card lock. I know that. We're gonna go take all these crates on my trailer right now. We're gonna go drop them off in Wainwright, Alberta. And then we're gonna meander our way into Edmonton and call the people there, let them know that we're on the way. We're gonna pick up a big tank. And we're gonna bring it back to Manitoba. The excitement. Lots of prairies again. But then, after that, we go down to the USA. So there's something different. Well, actually I'm down in the US more than I am in Canada a lot of the time, but 50-50. But they got better roads down there. So we got something to look forward to. Trying to make my way towards Edmonton. We're almost there actually, about a half hour away. They should be ready for me when I get there, but I've been trying to call this shipper all day yesterday and all day today and they're not picking up their phone. I left a message there, letting them know when I'll be there. So I hope they check their messages or I hope they're just waiting outside and ready for me. I don't know. So I think they need a crane to load me, right? They're putting this big, uh, big tank on my deck. So, we'll see what happens, I guess. Did everything I could to let them know when I'll be there. I'm here in their yard right now waiting for them. They're just on lunch break and then they're gonna load me. Apparently I'm loading some in this yard here, then I've gotta go across the street and they're gonna load some more over there. And there must be like a small tank or something going up on the kick and then a bigger one going down on the lower step deck. But. It's like those things. Can you see them way over there? I know the fisheye of the GoPro sort of makes it seem like it's a whole world away, but something like that is what we're loading. Those are fuel tanks that go underground at truck stops and gas stations where they store all the diesel and stuff. They're going to want me to move though because obviously they're redoing their parking lot and they haven't spread it out yet. So we'll see what they say once they get here. It's a big tank. Look at that thing. Made in Canada, it says. There it is. It's a really light load. Roll those things up there. That makes more sense. Oh, those windows are dirty. Maybe I want to roll them back down and turn the AC off. Maybe that's what we'll do. Hey, Diesel. Turn the AC down a little bit. Okay, so uh, locked and loaded. Got the flags on there, got the signs on there. We've got an oversized load. We're going across the prairies. At least we're not as big as that house the other week, eh? This is 10 foot 7 wide. Just a little bit wide. Just enough to have to use the Hey everybody, look at me, I'm so special, Beacons. Yeah.